down the street when I heard a voice saying, Good evening, Mr. Dowd. I turned, and there was this great white rabbit leaning against a lamppost. Well, I thought nothing of that. <laughs> because when you have lived in a town, as long as I have lived in this one, you get used to the fact everybody knows your name. Well, I want you to meet Harvey. Now, as you can see, he's a puka. Harvey, you've heard me speak of Mrs. Chauvenet. We always called her Aunt Ethel. She is one of my oldest and dearest friends. Huh? Oh, yes. Yes, that's right. She's the one. This is the one. Harvey says he would have known you anywhere. Vita, Myrtle May. But now you both look lovely. Oh, okay. Come in with me, Harvey. We must say hello to all of our friends. I beg your pardon, Aunt Ethel, but if you will excuse me for one moment. You what? You are standing in his way. <laughs> Come along, Harvey. Ah, Judge Gaffney. Uh, Dr. William Chumley. The psychiatrist. Uh, Judge, you telephoned out here this afternoon about having a client of yours committed. Is that name spelled with a, a W or a U? Mr. Elwood P. Dowd. Yeah. We exchanged the conventional greetings. I said, how do you do, Dr. Chumley? Uh, he said, how do you do, Mr. Dowd? I believe we said that at least once. Come on, come on. Yeah, Mr. Wilson, I'm trying to be factual. <laughs> I then introduced him to Harvey. To who? A white rabbit, six feet tall. Oh, wait, six feet three and a half. Yes, excuse me. Okay. We fool around with him. Meanwhile, the doctor's probably someplace bleeding to death in some ditch. If those were his plans for the evening, he did not tell me. <laughs> oh, well, there doesn't seem to be any hat and coat there now. Perhaps he left. Well, apparently. I don't see him anywhere. <laughs> what was that word you just said? A, a puka? Yes, that's it. Is that something new? Oh, no. No, as I understand it, that's something very old. O O K A. Puka. From old Celtic mythology, a fairy spirit in animal form, always very large. The puka appears here and there, now and then, to this one and that one, at his own caprice. A wise but mischievous creature. Very fond of rum pots, crack pots, and how are you, Mr. Wilson? <laughs> really? Why are you looking like that? This man was a very nice, polite man, and he merely asked that we give his friend a lift 